What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record audio and export as an MP3 in Adobe Audition CC. Now this is the first ever Adobe Audition tutorial I'm doing on my channel, hence why it is so easy, but I plan to do a lot more. So with that being said, if you'd like to request an Adobe Audition tutorial, just let me know in the comments or on my social media. Now when you first open Adobe Audition, this is what you'll be presented with. Now it's really simple to set up. So the first thing you're going to be doing is heading over to multi-track. Now you can use waveform, however I do recommend multi-track and you'll see why a little later on. So select this and then from here you call the session name, which is going to be the file name. Uh, so I recommend calling this something that's going to remember, I'll just call this test and then it says folder location. So this is where you'll save it to. So again, make sure you pick a location which is gonna be easy to remember. From there, I just recommend everything staying the same and just selecting okay. Now, you may get taken into the mixer and this is how the mixer looks. What you want to do is head over to the top right and select edit audio to video. This is what you're gonna get and this is exactly what we want. So of course we picked multi-track and there are uh, multiple tracks here that we can pick from. We're going to be focusing with track one and what we're going to be doing is expanding the track. So come in between track one and two until you see these arrows and simply drag this down and then select track one again just in case you clicked off it like I done. So the next thing you're going to be doing from here is measuring your levels. At the moment I'm talking and there's no levels, nothing at the bottom and nothing here on the side. So what we want to do is press this button right here which is arm for record. So you can see our levels are now showing and as I'm talking my uh, levels are hitting the red. That of course is not a good thing and this is where you'll need to control your microphone and turn it down. Now a way I actually recommend to control your microphone volume is not in Adobe Audition and the reason I say this is because if we control it in Adobe Audition it will only be controlled in Adobe Audition itself. So what I recommend you do is come over to the speaker icon here at the bottom right right click it and select recording devices. Now this is in the taskbar, it's not in Adobe Audition itself. Then you should see your microphone, you would select it, select properties and from here you come up to levels. Now you can see my microphone levels are set to 100 which is incorrect, it should be around 80 to 85. So I'll turn it down, as you can see this is now fixed our levels. So Again, it's a really good way to fix your levels. Now for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna keep mine at 100 simply because I've been using 100 this entire video and it will ruin my audio. Now if you come across to the advanced tab, I then recommend you have allow applications to take exclusive control of this device unchecked. What this will mean, these levels will stay the same and Adobe Audition will not change your levels. So I'm gonna select okay and okay, and now you're ready to record. How do you record? Very, very simple. If you come to the bottom here, you can see the red button, which is going to be the record. The uh, shortcut for recording is shift and space, as you can see. So if I was to select that now, as you can see, I am now recording and my audio is showing up at the same time. When I want to stop, I can press space on my keyboard or I can come to the bottom and press the record button again. As you can see, that has now stopped. So we also then get our scrub so we can go back on our timeline and we can play it through. And this time when we play back, you'll notice the levels at the bottom will now be showing. So you can see, it's going to be a lot easier for you to see where your levels are actually hitting. Now, once you're happy with your audio, you of course want to export it. So for this, you're going to come up to File, Export, and you're going to select Multi-Track Mixdown and Entire Session. Choose an appropriate file name, choose an appropriate location. By default, it's going to be choosing a WAV format. Now, if you want an MP3, of course, you select this arrow, as you can see it says mp3 audio just simply select that then once you're ready to save you pick your location select ok just like that it is exported now like i mentioned at the start i do plan to do a lot more adobe audition tutorials so if you like to request any feel free to let me know in the comments or on my social media